Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Pulverized Druid build yet again. Um, I've learned a lot about the character and I kind of wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. So before we start, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a really high level, um, I guess, dungeon for me. It's tier 37. I think the monsters are around 90. We are 78. Uh, while we're in the dungeon clearing, I'll go ahead and talk about the character. I'm going to go ahead right now and just kind of showcase the gear. One of the biggest things I've acquired since the last video is a new helmet, uh, which basically makes us a lot more tanky and have a lot more spirit sustain. And that's going to actually be part of the topic of this video, uh, is helping you guys acquire and kind of understand how to balance your spirit. Because I know for people playing Pulverized Druid, you're kind of like a one-pump chump, right? You walk up to the mob, you pulverize it, you're like, shit, it didn't crit, okay, I'm out of spirit. And then you have to, like, start generating your spirit again, and that can be kind of frustrating, right? So that's going to hopefully help you guys out. Another thing is, a lot of people have been saying that resistance has not been worth scaling instead of armor, like in your accessories. I'm not really sure about this, I'll have to, like, figure it out, right? Uh, and then the last thing is, I will actually put a D4 uh, build planner in the comments below so you guys can actually look through it there, since I know it can be a little tricky to kind of see everything I'm doing here. With that being said, um, the Paragons I'm currently running, and then again, we're going to jump right in. Um, I'm running a Werebear Glyph right over here. It's about 80% increased damage. Uh, I'm running a Glyph over here for Undaunted for Fortify, although I don't have all of the points yet. It's probably maybe not worth running. This is only an increase and there are a few multiplier glyphs. And then over here, I am running a vulnerability glyph, uh, also known as exploit, as it's my only source of vulnerability. Um, and then this, this area here is the survival instincts. And this one over here is the spirit spender. Okay, so with that being said, Let's go ahead and jump right on into this one. So this actually has a monsters take 60% less damage from distance tar uh, distance targets. And I actually do uh, hit a lot of mobs from ranged, right? Like that's a big part of the build. The shockwave aspect on your polarize is typically ranged because it's like cascading outward, right? <clears throat> so I figured this would be a good showcase. Uh, I also have been building gear towards potentially switching over to a Stormwolf setup instead, just, you know, to try things out. And uh, this is going to be another weird one, but I actually think it might be better to play Druid, uh, specifically even Pulverize with a one-hander and uh, offhand, instead of a two-hander. And the primary reason is on the offhand, you can actually get Critical Strike Chance along with um, Lucky Hit. Lucky Hit is really hard to get so far. Uh, I've only seen Lucky Hit pop up on rings. I've got like a 4.6 Lucky Hit with a 6.0 Lucky Hit. And then I have seen it pop up on gloves, which I have just recently acquired a new pair of gloves. Gloves are one of the strongest pieces of damage. And I don't know if it's builds in general or just Druid, but like we can roll up to four Pulverize there. It's it's three on Ancestral. And then at level five of the, on the gloves, it actually goes up plus one. So like my ideal perfect stat here would actually be attack speed, lucky hit, crit, pulverize. It would be honestly kind of nutty. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm also now using Earthen Bulwark primarily because we can use it during our Grizzly Rage. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right onto this, man. Another thing is to go a little bit faster, I'm trying to get a new amulet with movement speed. Uh, it would help a lot. So here we're just going to skip until we get to the objective primarily. Oh, here we go. This is a nice pack. Pop our Bulwark. I'm not ready yet. The real trick to Grizzly is being in combat all the time. Because if you look at our stats here, my crit multi is now 1,100%. Um, the reasoning for that is because of our Grizzly Rage. Every time we crit during Grizzly Rage, we get a stacking 10% crit damage buff that lasts during the whole duration of Grizzly Rage. This is another primary reason of why I think going one-hander in shield, or sorry, one-hander in offhand, whatever the offhand exactly is called, is a really nice way to set it up. Not to mention, you can also get damage reduction uh, during Fortify on there too. There's a lot of really nice effects. Right, this one's done. Now, if you look at my spirit, we're actually running now about 178 total spirit. 
Um, and the spirit generation feels fantastic when you have this much spirit, right? Like, if you look at my my spirit bar as I'm fighting, I very rarely have to use my spender. I, I will typically tap it um, in between a pulverize. I don't know if it, it kind of, like, feels just better with the animation, right? So, it's basically, like, pulverize, left click, pulverize, left click. Uh, and then whenever you land, like, an actual uh, earth and might proc, it's just basically dump with pulverize. Because all your hits are crits during that that time. Okay, Grizzly Rage. Now, another nice thing is when you get the Vasily's Prayer Helmet, the one I showed earlier, you actually get another form of CC break. So, as we all know, Grizzly Rage provides us unstoppable. This little icon here, this means that I can never get... It, like, basically, I, nothing happens to my character, right? I'm always moving at my normal speed. Um, but when it falls off, uh, you're able to... You're susceptible towards slows. You're susceptible towards... Uh, actually, no, I don't know if slows are affected in Grizzly Rage. But anyway, uh, the point basically is that uh, you can get CC'd. And that is very dangerous. But with Earthen Bulwark, that's another form of CC break. So you have Grizzly Rage, Earthen Bulwark, and you also have uh, your charge skill. Now remember with Earthen Might, you have a small chance to proc uh, basically getting all of your spirit back. And we've actually already gotten nerfed, so that proc chance went down specifically for our um, specifically for our pulverize. But with lucky hit gearing, you can make that hit chance back. And with the density you find in content like this, you can also easily make that back. Last one here. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I actually think it's much better to clear these because Grizzly is so much of a like an all-in type character, right? You really want to be surrounded. I don't really know if it's worth spending time killing every single like little individual elite. Oh my god, did I actually forget to pick it up? Not like this. I seriously thought I picked it up. Three. Oh my god. Okay, here we're gonna grizzly to break out. Yes, if you actually like face tank these guys, they, uh, <laughs> they're not very nice. Come on, let me just pick it up. Okay, now we got it. At least it's nice you get a, you get a movement speed buff during this. Okay, we have a few seconds left on Grizzly, so let's try to just dump our spirit here. And, okay, now we're back to normal damage.
All right, dungeon is done. So we're what 78, and that was a uh, like a 91. Honestly, it works out pretty well. Still feel pretty tanky and have a lot of room to go with upgrades. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, down below, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna drop a link for you guys so that you can uh, kind of go through the builder and kind of see what is up. Uh, just real fast to explain kind of what I was talking about for people who might be a little bit newer. So the um, the combo I'm running for the massive spirit generation is basically. Oh, here we go, spirit boon. So. This here, lucky hit, dealing damage has a chance to restore spirit. So this is when we're hitting a big pack. It helps replenish part of that pack, but don't be fooled. You do want to get lucky hit wherever you can. So gloves and two rings are typically where I find them. And again, the, the offhand would work out really well. Um, and then on the Paragon board on this one here, which is basically the spirit generation or the whenever you spend spirit, here you can find a lot of cool ones like Maximum spirit, spirit on kill, max spirit, spirit on kill, spirit on kill, etc. And these big ones, I actually intentionally went out of my way to hit the intel requirement because that gets me another 16 spirit, which to be fair, I mean, 16 spirit is comparable to almost like a piece of gear, like a nafic slot on a piece of gear. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys later. Hope you guys are enjoying Druid as much as I am.